Okay, this next one, I guess it's called the Carter Blues. I called it the Carter Stomp because I didn't know what the name was it for years, and then I saw on that country western show on PBS, someone referred to, I heard him play it, and they referred to it as Carter Stomp and that, so. But then when I was searching on YouTube, after Glenn pointed out he couldn't find it, um, found out that Carter Blues is what it's really called. So I'm going to play in G positions, but I'm capoing because the fiddle players and the banjo players and the mandolin players like A and D. So I'll run through it once how I play it and then I'll kind of try to break it down. another one I never played this one the same way twice it lends itself to a, a lot of improvisation so chord wise it's pretty simple just the a parts just um, G D and G shapes so I guess that would be a E and a capo you know if you're not capo <laughs> Shape-wise, it's G, C, G, D, G. So I guess that'd be A, D, A, E, A. So something like that. I don't think I hit the, the uh, cadence quite right there, but... When you start playing the whole thing right, it makes sense. So I'll run through it slow, how I play. So again, I'm mostly playing out of chord position. So that's leading. So that's all out of G. So that's really all the A part is. Now I sometimes improvise by um, sliding into different shapes. So that's just a F shape down on you know, three note frets up, which makes it a G. Sliding up to that D. around I'm mostly just playing G and D shape so this G shape this G shape this D shape and that D shape and you could keep playing shapes farther up the neck but as long as you stay in the shapes 
you can just kind of mess around and you're going to get things that sound like the song. For the B part, how do I do it? shapes and kind of improvising sticking with the melody and you can't go too wrong so anyways it's a fun song to mess around with and that's called carter blues <laughs> 